number of things he forgot when he entered the ship. His umbrella, his watch, all his jewels and rings, and the clothes he had bought for the trip. He had 42 boxes, all carefully packed, with his name painted clearly on each. But since he omitted to mention the fact, they were all left behind on the beach. He came as a baker, but owned when too late, and it drove the poor bellman half mad. He could only bake bride cake, for which I may state, no materials were to be had. I came as a baker on this escapade. I need the dough, but I can't look after 
the bread The banker does it instead And although I never feel afraid Somehow I know it could be the single worst mistake I've ever made To come as the baker on this escapade I came as the butcher on this escapade Without the heart for moving in for the kill It makes me want to be ill But my orders have to be obeyed Though I take part, I'm not the one On whom the blame should all be laid I'm only the butcher on this escapade He came as a butcher, but gravely declared when the ship had been sailing a week. He could only kill beavers. The bellman looked scared and was almost too frightened to speak. But at length he explained in a tremulous tone there was only one beaver on board. And that was a tame one he had of his own, whose death would be deeply deplored. him with muffins, they roused him with ice, they roused him with mustard and cress, they roused him with jam and judicious advice, they set him conundrums to guess. When at length he sat up and was able to speak, his sad story he offered to tell, and the bellman cried, silence, not even a shriek, and excitedly tingled his bell. I skip forty years, said the baker in tears, and proceed without further remark to the day when you took me aboard of your ship to help you in hunting the snark. A dear uncle of mine, after whom I was named, remarked when I bade him farewell. Oh, skip your dear uncle, the bellman exclaimed as he angrily tingled his bell. He remarked to me then, said that mildest of men, if your snark be a snark that is right, fetch it home by all means. You may serve it with greens, and it's handy for striking a light. But, O oh, Beamish nephew, beware of the day if your snark be a boojum, for then you will softly and suddenly vanish away and never be met with again. <laughs> 